unsaid at Selma. Who can question whether President Barack Obama is a master when it comes to speeches? Such a quality literally put him on the map when he mesmerized a crowd at the 2004 Democratic National Convention. He did it again in Selma, Alabama's 50th anniversary at the Edmund Pettus Bridge. His central message, no one can doubt that things are better since Selma. No one. His speech, delivered with quiet passion, was a masterwork. And yet, and yet, Selma has become sacred in civil rights history, not because of what happened there, but because of what happened thereafter. Public outrage fueled the passage of the Voter Rights Act, the same law recently trimmed by the U.S. Supreme Court. Selma is a vivid example of an evil that still lives with us, that of police immunity for their violence. At Selma, Alabama state troopers and so-called posse men beat people unconscious. They shattered skulls, broke ribs, knocked out teeth, and broke bones. Guess how many of them went to jail? None. Just four years after Selma, Chicago cops broke into the apartment of Black Panther leader Fred Hampton and killed him in his sleep. They also killed Captain Mark Clark. Guess how many cops went to jail? Zero. Zip to our present and the Mike Brown case. No criminal trial, state or federal. Too hard, say federal prosecutors. On May 13, 1985, cops dropped bombs from a helicopter and shoot and burn 11 men, women, and children to death and also destroy several city blocks. In that case, 20 years after Selma, how many cops went to jail? You know, none. Obama could have addressed police immunity, but that would have shattered his we're all better speech. What radicalized and motivated Ferguson was a long train of police impunity and immunity after violence against the community. They had seen it too many times. So Selma is closer than we think. It continues to trouble us today. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. Okay, President Carl. Oh yeah, Black Sun in the his are recording. For Shizzle Dizzle, we got an excellent show here today, but first I want to say the views and opinions and that of Com the arena does not reflect that of Comcast's staff or associates or affiliates or whoever works here. With that being said, viewer discretion is advised. We got an interesting show here today. We got cultural wars, as you can see there on the market. <laughs> cultural <laughs> wars. And I'm Give me this gavel, damn it! I'm gonna be the unbiased uh, judge here, as uh, brother Vince and brother Yang have brought us this very interesting topic. So, me being unbiased, I'm I'm partial to both sides. So, I'm gonna let me introduce the guest first to my right, the lovely mm -hmm. Miss Tiffany. What's going on, Tiffany? Hey, how you doing? Once again, it's a pleasure to be back on the show. Pleasure Thank you. Have you. Thank you for having me here. Yes, we're gonna have a nice one, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you done? The servant of Yah. Man, the servant man, of the people. Serving something here, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, gonna be the one with the gas. Okay. <laughs> I, I am a servant. Thank you for allowing me in the arena and uncensored. Okay. Right on. How you doing? Y'all know me, Vince Cheeks, entertainer, activist. I'm here for a great show. You already know. Your man, Yanga. It's just good to be here. You know, look forward to a great show. Good to be sitting on with the elder with again. The it's elder. always a pleasure. Always. And uh, Sister Tiffany, man. I, I don't want no nonsense from you. Hey, hey, I just, you <laughs> I'm going to try to be, but you know I get the nonsense has to come. Let it fly. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bro. Do you have any announcement, Mr. Vincent? Ah, uh, man. Uh, not really. Just please. The phone lines are open today, right? Yes. Call us, 770-559-2999, 770-559-2999. Hit us up, join in the conversation. We want to hear what you have to say. Thank you. Oh, no announcement? Wow. Yeah, no announcement. Okay. All right. So today's topic, 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. Today's topic is cultural wars. And Brother Vince, Brother Yanga, they've been going back and forth, back and forth. Kind of like how me and Yanga go back and forth on the Muslim atheist thing. <laughs> or how me and Gideon go back on the Muslim. Actually, against all y'all. But this is a show I get to be just sit back and just kick back. In fact, I'm going to be so kicked back, I'm going to let, but you got to be impartial, Tiff. I'm going to let you hit the gavel. In case it gets out of control. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that means getting you got to stay on top here because we're trying to get down to the meat and trying to get down to the nitty gritty of this disagreement. Because we got two intelligent gentlemen here, but they can't bring it together on this Boy. multiculturalism. <laughs> okay. So I'm just hyped today, y'all forget I'm just hyped today. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not on the hot seat today, you know. So Okay. Let's start off by defining. We're going to get the great wise elder to define multiculturalism. Well, my understanding of multiculturalism has to do with amalgamation of cultures and people coming from different regional backgrounds that influence the dance, the dress, the food, the lifestyle Mm -hmm. of the individuals who are the progenitors of those uh, cultures. It's simply, if you look at it, and, and Brother Yang made a powerful statement in reference to, he said, if you knew somebody was giving you something poison, would you ingest it? And here in America, we know McDonald's, Burger King's, Wendy's, all of these organizations have used their ability to create the culture of Americana to feed us the poisons that come from the dyes, the... Uh, the arsenic, arsenic <laughs> the, uh, the hormones, yeah. mm-hmm. the, chemicals, the chemicals in the food, but because of the culture of America, people in droves continue to eat and digest this poison. So, but when we look at our people, the concept of multiculturalism, as Brother Yanga as well as you Brother Vince. You here. You keep going towards hey, that. Man, well, okay, <laughs> man, <laughs> they have really identified that the multicultural ideology, as it has been forced on us, has taken us away from the nationhood of our people. Nationality and nationhood is an origin of culture. Mm-hmm. And because we have divested ourselves from our original culture, the multicultural concept has come in like sharks and parasites onto the host of our people and sucked out the the essence of our history, our beauty, and it's been auctioned off in our songs, whether it was the, the blue-eyed soul oh, brother. But we, but we do have history and beauty, right? We have That's history and beauty. About. But culture is deeper than that. It's deeper than just trends and fads oh yeah Most see that's where we have come into with the so there's a spiritual element to it I, always right <laughs> let's get to the <laughs> show okay, <laughs> and that's a part of culture i'm about to go there black spirituality, spirituality is a part language, of language absolutely art, all of that is a part of all of that is a part absolutely of and and going back what he said about spirituality being a part of culture when we came here to the americas we had our spirituality okay. stripped. Oh, okay. Thank okay. you. You had our we had our spirituality stripped mm-hmm. from us mm-hmm. and had another spirituality forced upon us. Exactly. And since that has happened, we have been in chaos as a collective unit. Mm-hmm. I, and I, I'm going to okay. go so far as to say, not so much in in my opinion, not so much our spirituality, mm-hmm. but our religion. Mm-hmm. I think our religion was taken. And, and African people have, we're, 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 you know, in my opinion, we're spiritual people. We look right. at Voodoo, look at Hades, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? In Voodoo, mm-hmm. they, went to, they went to, when they were brought to Hades, Catholicism was forced on them. Exactly. So right. what they did was hid an African spiritual, spirituality mm-hmm. under, their, under the guise of Catholicism. Mm-hmm. So they started using their saints, I think it's St. John or something that is a legba. Mm-hmm. You know, so they used the statues and everything. And they used put the an African spirituality mm-hmm. or African spiritual system under the guise of Catholicism because these Europeans were all about the symbolic and all about the symbols and didn't understand that spirituality is like an energy. But you know yeah, what I'm saying? You can't destroy it, it can, but it can change forms and be put into but different yeah, things. When they infused that, wasn't that a form of multiculturalism right there? Absolutely. Certainly. Absolutely. 
but a negative that. form. A negative right, form a negative form of multiculturalism. Okay. And my 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 uh my issue, I guess, with Brother Yanger's perspective of multiculturalism is that he likes to say that blacks don't have a culture that we can contribute in a positive way to society, and I totally disagree with that. Okay. I okay. totally dis disagree with that. If you look at uh, the black inventors okay. of our time, the black historians, the black jazz musicians, mm -hmm. we have contributed, okay. uh, since we've come here to mm -hmm. America, we, we have to create our own subculture for one because everything that we had was stripped of us when we were brought here. So even when we create our own subculture while we're here, uh, the white power system, a white power structure, will take that and corrupt that as well. But aren't you aren't you aiding uh, Yang's argument? I mean, no, no, I'm not, no, no, that's, no, that's, that's that's absolutely my argument. I'm saying this is what I'm saying. I'm saying that multiculturalism gives the dreams of total and complete inclusion. It allows you to believe that you will be able to be a part of this system and that you will find success integrating completely into this system. And multiculturalism has robbed us. Right. Multiculturalism takes us, it takes our issues and our particular needs and puts it on the back burner. Like you said, the inventions that could have right. went to, mm -hmm. we are the, the inventors, creators of magnificent, wonderful inventions. I think that Gideon had a show one time, or you guys had a show one time That's on right. black inventors. Why is the black community still in the state that it's in? Why are black? Why are we still in the state of in with all the contributions that we've lent to this? Because, because multiculturalism, so. because multiculturalism is pushed and promoted to us when nobody when but when you go to when you enter into multiculturalism, you have to have a culture that is so solid that it acts as a deterrence from negative influences from other cultures. Why? And I'm saying that the African man and woman here in America doesn't have a solid enough culture to act as a deterrent Why? to stop ourselves. Why? Because we keep, because we Why get don't we have a solid enough Well, let culture? me answer that the question because uh, you're both right. And the reason that from a multicultural perspective that we've been relegated despite our brilliance and genius throughout the ages that have uh, set us apart from all other nations is because there's no such thing as a black. See, multiculturalism has divested us of the original nationality that we have right. as a people. Right. And throughout, through the slave trade and the infusion into like, the ideology of white. See, it was the first that, people to call that's, that's, that's not multiculturalism. I'm scared to ask you what forced on you is not multiculturalism. Multiculturalism is something that you choose to be a part of and choose to go into. Anything forced on you is not multiculturalism. Well, you at the end of the day, the, the got, culture, let me just say this, the culture that we are raised in as a people defines our ancestry. What was forced on us was the term black it was given to us by the people who took us from our ancestral land right. and labeled us. We brought some blacks from the south coast yeah. of Africa. W right. What was the Bible forced upon us? Yes. Absolutely not. Yes, it yes. was. Yes, it was. I'm White sorry. supremacy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to disagree. I strongly disagree. Yes, the Bible was forced upon sister. us. Let okay. me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because blacks was taught that if you want to be free, you got to submit into Christianity. Right. And do you know the first book that they learned how to read from? The Bible. the Bible. Right. Okay, and they were taught that the reason why they were brought here as slaves was because they were disobedient to some God's word and they were cursed as a nation, as a people, and people still fall into that deception to this day. Even the Hebrew Israelite, and I'm sorry to say, they still fall into that ideology that they are cursed because they did not go along with the uh, scripture. So yes, religion, yes, the Bible has been forced upon people. Yes, religion has been forced upon us. Well, I don't disagree that the Bible in and of itself was first forced upon nations of people, but for the Hebrew, the Bible was a part and is a part of our lives. We taught them, we wrote the Bible. Right. Hebrew people wrote it. You have to look in the uh, antiquities of Alexandria and where okay. our people and the, uh, at the uh, conference of Nicaea, our ancestors wrote it. We sang, we came over here singing the Negro, Negro cereal, spirituals, spirituals right. which are so specific to, let me just say, specific to us to this day, right. that no other nation sang. We, part they, of our culture. But it's part you, of our you culture. Have, but you go to Savannah. Yeah, I just want to say yeah. that we named our churches despite Philadelphia, Mount Zion, uh, Ebenezer, Mount Pisgah, Shiloh, 
all of these were terms that we we named our children elijah jeremiah that was long before the white man and his infusion and thrusting his language upon us even was even okay, okay, okay. he got something to say he got something to say Kevin, Kevin, he, got, he got something to say go ahead what you go got ahead, to say bro. what you got to say my question is to Gideon yes sir since you believe the bible was not forced upon us no i did say it was wait, forced wait, 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 okay wait 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 this is an actual question this is an actual okay. question go ahead sir was there multiculturalism before the white man and arab in africa absolutely vince? absolutely vince i would have to say so you would have to say so okay are either one of you familiar with the masi empire the Masi Empire, yes, sir. Or are you familiar with Timbuktu? I asked exactly. the questions here. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, we 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 can get into religion, which is an aspect of the no, culture. No, 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 we can go okay, off. but let's, let's not can, make the topic forced we, on we, religion. We, we, we can okay. go into and in the same argument that Gideon had. You have Muslims had. You had a brother that come hold on. You had a brother that came over here was Irma Ibn Said was a Muslim, you go in Savannah, there's still Arabic writing on. So Muslims were brought into slavery too. We can make that argument. That's right. Here's my That's argument right. about, because we can't, as African people here in America, that are, like uh, Vince said, multiculturalism was forced on us. Multi-ethnicities no, 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 were forced I didn't say on us. Multiculturalism was forced on us. Well, no, multi saying multi right. I'm saying multiculturalism right. was forced That's on right. us. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Multi-ethnicities with the intermingling. Some of us, I have Native American in me. You sure. know what I'm saying? So that the African man here in America is what I try to get us to understand whether black, we can go into the semantics of what we call in ourselves, is a new uh, is a new African experience. Like you got tribes in Africa, you got sure. the Asante, you got the Mandingo, uh -huh. you got all of these people, Bantu, you got the, the, the Bantu, you got the African here in America, mm -hmm. which is a whole new experience. A whole other tribe. A whole other tribe. Right. A whole other African, a whole other saga of the African drama. Here's the thing that I'm saying. Even if we have to make a subculture, a culture should be advantageous to the people that practice that culture. Multiculturalism is not advantageous to us. It is advantageous to every other people. The proof is like what Vince said and everybody's saying right here. The contributions that we give to this society advances this society and advances other peoples right. without us reaping any of the rewards because we don't have a but culture. That, that's not because we're contributing to multiculturalism. Why is that's it? because there's a Slavery. dominant society right. that yeah. takes everything that we create and come up with. Wait, 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 is the obelisk? What mm -hmm. where did they get that from? From okay. Africa. From Africa. Thank you. But yeah. everything but, that we what? create and do, they take and put their hands in it and corrupt. Absolutely. Exactly. But who gives it to them? This is the point so that I'm saying. They take it. Right. I'm like, we're not going over there. Please, 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 please take my jazz music. Please, please take your jazz music. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. So we go. So we go. Okay, I just invented it. Thank you, Blackie. Yeah, I just uh, invented the baby buggy, so please, white man, please take yeah, my invention exactly. and make my white and make my invention exactly. profit. And, 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 and don't give me no profit. Exactly. So what are no, we no, doing? No, no, no. Oh, Who man. has a problem? Wait a minute. Let, on, me, let, me, let me explain this. Go let on, me say man. this. Okay. You telling me? You telling me that they just came and took hip hop? You telling me nobody profits from that? Okay. Well, wait, no. Let's go before. Before hip hop. Before hip hop. Let's go to Cardi G Woodson. Okay. Let's go to the one who invented with the peanut. Uh, George Washington, Washington was, Carver. Okay, let me let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. The point is that be, he w was able to invent several products from the peanut. And it wasn't either. about multiculturalism, though. No, it was about white supremacy exactly. and that domination the of we're oppressed talking, so people. We're talking about we're multiculturalism. Talking about multiculturalism. You're talking you about, just said... You're, hold on, hold on, leave me out, Vince, because we can... You're talking about... If you're going... We can play on the errors. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about segregation, mm -hmm. you're talking about separation mm -hmm. of slavery, that's not multiculturalism. Mm -hmm. Well, that, it is. No, no, it's no, white no. culture which dominates no, right. other cultures and then forces their culture on what them. What is multiculturalism? That's not multiculturalism. That's not multiculturalism. Culturalism. I'm trying to get a clear picture of what, where, where you guys are going with this. So are we saying, because I, 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 I see what Yanga is saying. Mm -hmm. Are we saying, let me just ask you this question, Yanga. Are you saying that multicultural can be forced upon us? I don't think that multiculturalism can be forced upon you. I think that you have to voluntarily right. give in to multiculturalism. Give in to right. Okay, and you oh. see no problem with that, Vince. 
No, I, but I voluntarily give in to multiculturalism because I choose to put myself in situations with people of other ethnic backgrounds than myself. Okay. So not only so that I can learn from them, but so that I feel they that can they learn can learn from, from us. Right. Okay, let me, for for okay. example, let me give you an example. Hold on, let me okay. say I have a friend. I'm not going to say her name on here. JC, I call her JC. Okay. When I met JC. White girl. Yeah. When I met <laughs> JC, when I met JC, she was a, a self proclaimed racist. Right. Self proclaimed okay. racist. Why power? Why, yeah. All that. Okay. What I did, even after she told me she was a self-proclaimed racist, mm -hmm. I gave her a chance. We had to work together. We were at the same job. So I gave her a chance. And in giving her a chance, and in, 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 in turn, her giving me a chance, I taught her Getting to know about each black, other. Right, about black culture. When you guys going to sacrifice me a pen and a paper? And, uh, mm -hmm. I, I taught her more. I taught her about black coat because she right. had this totally negative perception of all right. black people. Right. And now to this day, eight years later, she calls me one of her best friends and she she still says she's a uh, self proclaimed racist. Right. right. She everybody gotta have a token friend. She, she, right. right. But what I did <laughs> Some of my best friends but, but the power that I did of that situation was she doesn't have a total negative viewpoint of all black people now because of the interaction that she's had with me. So you can't tell me that that's not powerful well, in affecting people and how they sure. view other you people. Some specific you can't tell me that that's okay, not Vince, powerful. Okay, Vince, Vince, Vince. Okay, I, I understand you. We shall overcome. <laughs> what I want right. to know is what is, the di what, what is the disadvantage of what Yang is saying about rejecting multiculturalism? Be, can you be Because specific? you're limiting yourself. How are you limiting yourself? You're, you're, yeah, you're limiting yourself to the uh, the innovations and the technologies of a whole nother culture. No, 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 no. Why no, would you? No, no, why no. if I have something to share with this culture and I feel like they have something to share with me, why can't we share and grow and learn right, from okay. each other? That's my whole point of multiculturalism. Having the okay. being able to look at another ethnic group and give them the same respect and, and scholarly intellectual merit that I feel that we as a black people have. You're not going to sit here and tell me that black people don't have a I don't, culture. I don't, I'm not saying right. when, I don't when, say that we have we don't have scholarly merit. You said we don't have okay, a culture, okay, okay. which means we don't have anything. And, and I'm going to tell you why. As soon as and I now, I'm going to say talk. this. I'm going to say this. Like I said earlier before the show had started, I kind of agree with Yanga as far as how multiculturalism this is on tape, so has, um, <laughs> has affected us in a way because you got to look at the economics. You got to think about it. Economics and even with integration. I mean, I, I don't have no problem interacting with other cultures, talking to different people, but we got to look at it because the moment our, let's say, for example, prime example, Gucci. Our people love Gucci, right? Okay. <laughs> so our people will spend buku cash money for Gucci. But if you was to have some like African garments like right. this, they not going to, you're not going to mm. find too many of our people buying it. So what I'm saying is, right. the wow. mom, the, the, wait a minute, let me finish, let me finish. The moment that integration started, black people stopped supporting each other as much. Like exactly. if you take a look at the history of Auburn Avenue, that used to be an all black wealthy community. Exactly. It was just okay. like Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. But because, you know, after 1964, what happened? Businesses started declining. Mm -hmm. Things started going down. Why? Because blacks were not supporting each other. They weren't supporting the business. They weren't keeping the money, the revenue in the community. So that's right. white people. It's, 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 no, 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 no. I didn't say. Yes, I, I mean, not white. Right. 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 That's multiculturalism. Oh, that's what I meant to say. Oh, we're back. That's multiculturalism. But what I'm saying is, it kind of. I'm not blaming it. I'm just saying that it kind of. It plays the effect. On us in a way, Second as far as yes, but that's not multiculturalism. Why You're talking it? about something that we were, and you can, either, you can either say we were, you can either say we were led into it by Dr. King, multiculturalism. Right, multiculturalism. Like he said. You need talking about you talking about white people right now. No, I'm not just talking about white people. When I'm talking about white people. Integration, you're talking about white people. I'm talking about multiculturalism. Okay, white, okay, black, okay. Spanish, Asian, Indian. Multiculturalism is not black and white. You, multiculturalism isn't just black and white, but okay. the white people, Europeans, are made up of different cultures. You got I, uh, Irish, That's you right. got Italians, yes. you got Scots, you okay. got Russians. Okay. You okay. saying white and black. We're saying no, y'all saying no, 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 no,
We're talking about what made up. It wasn't just, we can look at white people. That was, like you said, a class, so they could start up a class system. So they could say to the poor white trash, you might be broke, but at least you're not a nigger. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You're white. So that's the whole thing. But we're talking about the Irish. We're talking about the Italians. Mm -hmm. We're talking about these white people. And I'm from Cleveland. Mm -hmm. We're talking about these white people who have maintained and retained their culture. Mm -hmm. You got a little Italy. You got a little Russia. Yeah. You got, got a little China Ireland. But they come hey, here with their culture. We didn't point. come here with you, the culture. That, 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 we did. We did yes, not we did. come here with the culture because yes, everything was stripped from us. By, by the you time we set foot on that boat, no. everything no, no, was stripped from us. No, it wasn't. No. Right. Right. We did have a culture. Right. We bought voodoo over right. here. We, came, we, not, not we not bought voodoo. We came with a culture, right. and with the, we had a culture. Right. And with the bull stuff well, they I'm threw on us, even with the bull stuff they threw on us, our culture shined through. You saw our advancement despite, exactly, despite what they put on us through the segregation, through all of that, and they realized. That if you keep these people separate, mm -hmm. that their culture will will we'll help these people. Will, will if you keep them separate, their culture will persevere them. Right. Their culture will keep them strong. Right. Their culture will enable them but to compete. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You saying? I'm saying that we don't yeah, have a culture. Yeah, you did say that. Though. Thank we you. He said we didn't have a culture. Listen, that's listen, not listen. saying that our culture. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Listen, hold on, hold on. Y'all not listening. Y'all so ready to argue. Double talk. No, we're not. You don't even listen half the time. You just sat on the wall and let me say something. Okay, let, 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 our culture was taken. Mm -hmm. if no, you that listen, was not multicultural. Yeah, if you but let him make his point. Integration is a form of multiculturalism. Yeah. How you go well, from when we came over here to integration? That's two different time periods. But let no. him let okay, him make let, let, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Follow me. Before integration, before multiculturalism was before we got on to this multiculturalism you thing. Two you, separate they things. are not two separate things. Hold on, 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 hold we had a way of doing things and a way that we operated morally, ethically, spiritually, financially, socially, every kind of way we operated when we were segregated. When we integrated, which is multiculturalism, our morals that and our not, ethics changed. Not. Our morals and ethics changed. Okay. is two totally different okay. things. Yeah, Same no, thing. No, 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 he totally gave the definition of multiculturalism. Okay. He did. He did. He, multiculturalism let me say this. And, and integration. How is it? How is it? Integration, integration, integration is a, uh, black people joining in with the white society. Multiculturalism, I just said. That's still multiculturalism. No, it's not. It's not. You're influenced by other cultures. What other that's cultures so are you talking about? I'm talking about one culture, white right. culture. No all of them are no the white culture. Right. 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 Let's defer to the gavel. All of them identify as white culture. Let's, let's defer to the gavel. The culture today is going to be called respect the gavel. Yeah. Okay? The elder Gideon has already defined what culture means. So let's not go against that definition because we go against the agree on that definition. We didn't we You're didn't not going to make the point. We didn't agree on that definition. Question. You're out of order, Vince. <laughs> You're out of order. So we didn't agree on that definition. Right. Listen, I mean, he had like we in the court. You don't have to agree on definition. He gave the definition. You can give one. Give oh, your give definition. definition. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to freestyle. Well, hey, what's well, your definition? I gave the definition before we started the show. Now you and I said this is the white folks' definition. The definition that I had before you I came on the show, I had before he said whatever he said. Well, go and ahead. My and whole argument, so the, the, my the, whole argument, argument give your definition, my whole argument is based on my definition. I gave it at the beginning of the show, but I'll give it again. Okay, since okay, clearly y'all weren't listening, because y'all keep going on this black and white thing. It's not about the black and white thing. Multiculturalism is more than black and white. Okay, but y'all keep, him, keep him, focusing let him, let him on black and That's white. No, but right. no, this is what we're saying. We're saying that integration is a part of multiculturalism, which you have failed no. to understand. Because when you talk about multiculturalism, you're talking about a But that's a part of it, you're too. You're talking about Don't Europeans have a culture? Yes or no, Don't no. Europeans have a culture? Yes or no. You're talking respect for all cultures. Don't, don't you? This, don't Europeans have a culture? European culture, culture respect black culture. Because when no. I talk about multiculturalism, I'm talking about a respect for all cultures. Did white culture respect that's, black that's culture? Some. Here's the problem. We Some. are different. We not all. I came in here with my 
we have a definition. different we have a different definition of multiculturalism. He's looking at multiculturalism from a respect of every culture. Right. I'm looking That's at multiculturalism right. as just what it is, a multitude of cultures. Right. right. And when you have a multitude of cultures, right. if you don't come in with a culture, I didn't say that black people didn't have a culture before integration. I'm saying now now, due to multiculturalism, black people okay. in America don't have a culture strong enough to act as a deterrent from the influences of other cultures. I'm gonna ask That's a, the point that I I'm am I'm going to ask this question before mm -hmm. I forget. And mm -hmm. this is to Tiffany, this is to Gideon, Yanger, and Vince. Okay. Which one of y'all listen to the fiddle and the banjo? Who? The fiddle and the banjo. Yes, sir. The That's fiddle and the banjo. <laughs> We were we the we fiddle. invented the uh, right. no. Gideon. Go ahead. So you, you already you, we on the same page. The fiddle and the banjo. You ever listen to that bluegrass right there? Take me. Wait, wait, what genre is it? It's, it's bluegrass. bluegrass, yeah. You know where the fiddle comes from and the banjo? Where it come from? It comes from Africa. Tell a white son. Right. It comes from Africa. Tell a white son. African got and bluegrass is an African guy. How many goddamn niggers listen to the bluegrass? That's right. a black I listen to blues and jazz. No, I no he talking talk about bluegrass, which is a. I'm talking about <laughs> bluegrass with the fiddle and the banjo. I'm, 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 cool that, I'm cool that it comes from. I'm cool that it comes from Africa. Here's my question to white son. Okay. Here's my question to everybody. White son. Right. I'm asking yeah, yeah, you. This is yeah, you are. This is why I say multiculturalism kills us, because. We contribute to multiculturalism without reaping the benefits. Right. Sure. Right. That's what without I mean. reaping. Yeah. Like he said, now when you talk about Carter G. Wilson, when you talk about a time when we were segregated, when society, when there wasn't a multiculturalism, when they didn't want the nigger, they just wanted his labor and his, ing and, and his right. ingenuity. As it is exactly. today. As it is. Right. As it is. But back then, it was forced on us. Sure. Now, we've, uh, due to multiculturalism, due to integration, due to our morals and our ethics changing, we sell out. We invent a music. Mm -hmm. We invent hip hop. Why me? We, we, we invent something that we don't hold sacred. We hold nothing sacred. They can come with this so-called almighty dollar and buy your mama's draws. Mm -hmm. You'll put your mama on world star mm -hmm. for a few dollars and a few YouTube hits. So That's wait, 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 wait. wait a minute. Let me tell you. Let me say something. Let me say something. Go ahead. Let me say something. Now, we didn't sell out all our culture because look at, for example, voodoo. Now, in New Orleans, it's voodoo. They don't want that. Wait a minute. Wait, <laughs> oh, no, but some whites tried to write. No, you got some whites that tried to write. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me make my point. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And in New Orleans, they practice voodoo. Okay, mm -hmm. and how did voodoo get into New Orleans? Because of the Haitians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how did uh, the Haitians get to voodoo? Because Africa. of the West Africans. Yes. Okay, so that part of the aspect of that culture never left yeah. the African people because it's okay. still standing strong. Even like in South Carolina, they got what they call the Geechee. Yeah, mm -hmm. Geechee. Right. Geechee tribe. Geechee, yeah. Right, and they practice voodoo. So you so, got to look at all of the culture. Okay. You got to look at all the cultures. Did not leave just most of them. Okay, yes. hold on. Shout out to uh, Maya from the Gullah Geechee, yeah. North Carolina. Okay, but go ahead. Here's, 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 here's my let me Let me jump in here go briefly. Ahead, yes, See, and, and both of you, uh, Vince and Yanga, all of you, you all have valid points. But what I believe Vince doesn't understand in his ideology of multiculturalism, where we're all playing on the same uh, playing field, uh -huh. that's a fantasy. Because yeah, we're, we're not, not on we're the not, same. Yeah, we're not on the same. So no. this is this. Let me make the point. Okay. This is the inequity. We don't have a government. See, right. we have culture. <laughs> right. We have our well. Our language was not necessarily taken. It's we stopped practicing <laughs> our language because of multiculturalism. Just like the because fiddle and the banjo. The, exact, because, just like the fiddle and the banjo. I so even though it. our culture is valid, the history of the Bible. Is only one component, and the vet, like she mentioned, the Gullah Geechis, she mentioned Voodoo, all of these things are aspects of our culture. But at the end of the day, you need a system of organization that perpetuates the culture. Black nationalism? A black, black nationalism, but not necessarily black nationalism because it does not define a culture. It doesn't, na culture comes from nations. Nations have specific regional areas where their language, geographical areas on the map, where their language, their ancestry, the foods, the clothing derived from. Can I? So as a Hebrew, I know where my culture originated and the aspects of the language, the dress that I continue to perpetuate is part of the culture. But Gideon. at the end of the day, Gideon. wait a minute, let me to deal with Vince's point. 
is we don't have a governmental organization that allows us to perpetuate right. our mm -hmm. culture. Right. Right. Which is why right. when we come okay. up with hip hop or any jazz, of the bad anything. jazz or all, the that. things that we, that's why on this program, and you all have been a part of it, I fought for the recognition of my nation. Right. Going back to right. their birth certificate to define myself, not as a black, not what they right. call me, right. but what identifies my ancestors, my region of existence, and where I come from. And from that lofty platform, within a governmental structure, we can protect our, we can have ambassadors, we can have regional uh, access to land mass. Yeah, it's I'm those things that defines thing. culture. I'm going to ask you one practical thing. How will your nation defend itself? Uh, we have a spiritual battle that will take place. <laughs> Next time. Okay. Gotcha. Now, I see, I see where uh, Brother Gideon is going with that because if you look at within the black community, we got all these different organizations. We got the Nation of Islam. We got the black Hebrew Panthers. Israelite. You got the Moorish. Oh, you got the Kemetic. You got all that because... <laughs> Somebody, because I mean, to be honest with you, we really don't know exactly like what part of the region of Africa we come from. We know that our people came from Africa. So, we from the we was dead, yeah. so, yo, so what we try to do is we take a little bit of aspect that we learned about our history right. from Africa and come up with our own combination of, you know, different ideology to, you know, to, to uh, an amalgamation. And okay, see, what she's saying to, is valid. No, Go ahead, it's very valid. Right. That's why I said, you know, because. I heard Vince and I've heard Gideon and I'm not being biased right now, but I've heard them you, talk about you, you was kind of biased. I don't know. Okay, let me let me let me let me let me stand back. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Let me stand back. You you kind of broke your silence. I, I did because first of all, when you talk about multiculturalism, you know, I understand the arguments between Vince and Yang are talking about, you know, the European Even though I'm also black community, we got multiculturalism. But let because him make his point. Let him, let him make his point. point. Okay. But the, but the point that I'm making is that we had cultural wars in Africa. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Right. Right. And so right. I get offended when Gideon and Vince talk about all Africans were spiritual. Because if I tap into my ancestry, so mm -hmm. I tap into my sea, which were atheists. But black people don't want to acknowledge that, do they? No, they do. No, they, they, don't. they, they, no, do. they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. But what we were no, talking about was the no, governmental influences okay, that don't allow our culture to manifest Lord. itself but, among the nations to right. where we can have ambassadors, where we have rights that uh, of citizenship, and of dual citizenship. But as I was no, actually, and see, this is the thing. Okay, Let me just say this in conclusion. See, because of our the bastardization of our people, the nations have not given us legality by saying, yes, these are my people. We need to give them legal domicile in our nation. Therein lies our ability to be in among the League of Nations to be able to affect change that Malcolm went to the League of Nations, but yet he was not represented in the League of Nations. Right. Okay. Because again, you have to, every people have to have a government. Right. That government has to have a flag. Right. Man, I'm getting emotional about right. it. <laughs> because it's been taken. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everything and, and, has been taken. As I was saying, we develop a multiculturalism even in black community, I would say, when we develop these organizations. Because like I said, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, the Kemetics, the Moors and all these other groups so we all can't really agree on one aspect of what we want to call ourselves so that we break it down to different groups which and divides different, our yeah strength. which yeah which does divide us but I mean we are, but we have one thing in common and that one thing in common is what white supremacy right yeah, yeah so yeah but, 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 but we have a divide and conquer well but we have a divide and conquer amongst one another and it's and which brings which makes it hard for us to really just come together because of different ideologies, different beliefs, or different way of seeing one another. Cause so you got the Moors that have a problem with people calling themselves black. Right. They say, "Oh, you're not black. You're not black. You are more." And so and right. then they so called had these laws and government, which I like to question on more one day. Um, <laughs> if you got laws and government, then why is having why has it not been enforced? What are you doing as far as white supremacy um, right. doesn't allow it? The right. Barbary right. laws right. Are, are, are very okay. clear. If that's the case, then okay, but they can be called prosecutors or uh, defense attorneys yeah, and all that. I mean, they know the laws, and so why are they not in there to Wait. represent? Well, can I say this real quick to Gideon? Right. Yeah. Now, Gideon, I, I had an epiphany. Mm -hmm. I've had an epiphany. Oh. You know what? I'm going to let you have the Bible. That that comes from African culture. However, mm -hmm. I have a problem when 
you say that, okay, the Bible is our culture, but the Constitution is not our culture. Well, it was written by white men when we weren't considered human. We, we, were three fifths, so we weren't even considered it, it, human. His, 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 you missed my point. His, 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 the point? Hold on, it, let me get that point, because yes. I missed it too. What was I'm the glad, point? I'm glad you, okay, please, give, give me it. that point. Okay, I mean, okay. The point is that the Constitution was built in a democracy. Democracy is not a European concept. Okay. It has been proven time and time over and over and over and over again. Something else they took from us. There you go. Right, so I'm saying okay. I'm willing to accept the Bible being an African culture that I don't agree with, but they got to accept. I, I hate when people say, well, the Bible's our culture, but the Constitution gets a black man. No, the Constitution was written by black people. We had an influence in that. Democracy. Yeah, okay, that Which Constitution? Democracy. You talking about the U.S. Constitution? Yeah, the U.S. Constitution. You Con the U.S. Constitution was written by black people. He said the influence, influence, influence that influence. black people had on the democracy that the Constitution was written under. Right. But okay, the concept, right. the concept of a democracy is of an Africa. African concept that yeah. is undisputed, undebatable. Okay, but you got to look at the Constitution and say, well, the no, the different. The you got, oh, no, 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 no. We got it. Okay, okay, maybe. Be the concept, yeah. but the ideology came from the so-called enlightenment thinkers. Okay, you Bring got okay, you got these different uh, people that came up with the uh, ideas of how a government should be structured. Like it's okay, like, 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 like for example, John Locke. Mm. Okay, okay, he came up with the idea of what we call today uh, democracy, where, which is with liberty, pursuit of happiness, and free. Basically, the the, 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 the the what they call right, uh, the, and then the you people. had another one, you know, came up with an idea that what we call checks and balances, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got another one that um, started this idea about the absolute monarch, which some country, uh, which where all Europeans with, come from, yeah, or uh, most people countries people still fall along with that concept, <laughs> right? Well, so where well, they originated. One it, of the but, things okay. that I right. wanted to say is like since we're talking about the differences of culture. Uh, and the cultural aspects mm -hmm. and the cultural influences that we brought over here from Africa, wherever we picked them up, <clears throat> that we get into the semantics of it. I'm a more, I'm a this, and all of that is to divide us. When we look at nation, nation is defined as, like you said, coming from the same landmass or the same region right. of the earth, or people who have shared a common struggle. The unifying factor is going to be black nationalism. And black nationalism simply means that people who look like me, I don't care if the brothers call themselves a Moor, Hebrew, mm -hmm. Israelite, a Muslim, or whatever, mm -hmm. Because when they pull you over, when they shop Eric Garner, when exactly. they choke Eric Garner, they didn't say, Shalom, brother, <laughs> right. Assalamu alaikum, Jesus bless you, Moorish power, none right. of that. They choked him out and said, nigga. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? When they killed Mike Brown, it was the same thing. It was a nigga. And they made a song about it. So on and so forth, right. Yeah. So on and so forth. So they see us as one particular group. species, group, mm -hmm. ethnicity, right. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And when this is what we're combating. So... It's not your culture should add to your inspiration and your motivation mm -hmm. to do the right thing, to empower mm -hmm. you as a people. And I think that this is what we have to look at. And this is what I'm saying, my fears of the danger uh, of multiculturalism. That multiculturalism, since we're already divided mm -hmm. amongst many cultural, different and cultural influences, ourselves. that when you have a Muslim, and I'll speak for Muslims since I am a Muslim, that will side himself with an Arab. Right. Over, you know, economically, you know, when, when you will help this out of it, not that you shouldn't help humanity, but when you have more um, love, a more attachment uh -huh. to someone who doesn't reflect you, go through the same struggles that you go through, doesn't look like you, have live in the same social conditions, you have more leanings and more inklings towards a, per a, a person, this person in yourself, then I say that you have to question that. And this is the problem with me with multiculturalism. Because at the end of the day, I don't care if he's. Uh, Muslim, Jew, or Christian, mm -hmm. if he's Arab, if that Arab sees three brothers jumping on an Arab, that's mm -hmm. right. He's not going to stop and ask that Arab what his religious beliefs are. Mm -hmm. He's going to see an Arab brother getting jumped on. Right. Same thing as a white man or any other people. So when we get into a way of life and we're already not a communal people, we're already divided, exactly. and we go into this way of life, this multiculturalism, then this is what makes us say we don't hold anything sacred anymore. We don't hold anything, we don't look towards, will this advance? my people as a whole or will this advance me because we've been into the multicultural dream and part of multiculturalism is integration and I have to say this to Vince and I know okay. this is going to start the whole thing and I'll be brief so we all can talk. When you say white and black, brother, you have to understand that the Europeans have different cultures. Exactly. It is That's not just one day, like I said, they are Irish, they are Italian and they will tell you that they have different cultures. They exactly. hold to their culture. They hold the McGillicuddy's are proud McGillicuddy's. 
The uh, uh, Italians are proud of Italian. Yugoslavia. The, the Yugoslavians, the Russians, the Czechs, we see white and black. They see the difference in their cultures. And But the same way they come together, all these cultures come together for white supremacist ideology and to advance them as white men, I'm saying the same thing for African people here in America. Yeah. Despite what we call ourselves, what our religious, our cultural differences are, we have to work together for the advancement of us as a mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Go ahead and jump in here, boss. Yes. First of all, I'd just like to say that from my definition of multiculturalism, which is respecting different ethnic groups equally, mm. not saying we all, because none of us minorities are on the same playing field as white people. Let's put that out there right now. Okay. Right. Okay. The other thing I want to say about multiculturalism is most black people I know don't condone multiculturalism. They don't like working with white people or doing whatever. They feel like everything should stay in the black community. I catch a lot of slack for being multi, a, multi, of a multicultural mind, you know what I mean? But again, for me, and I'm glad you clarified the point about blacks not having a culture, because that was my whole uh, argument going against you was that you were saying that black people, but you clarified that today and I appreciate that. Um, for me, most people don't um, give into a multicultural viewpoint. And for me, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a businessman, and for me, I interact with every every race across the spectrum. Sure. You gonna every have, you race have to, across, you and, that's, to, and that's multiculturalism to me. It's not just okay. black and white. It's every race across you the have spectrum. To. And I have taken, I have gained sure. from okay. every person that I've come in contact, I've gained something about their culture, some knowledge or whatever, whether it's food, knowledge, clothing, whatever it is, I have gained something. And I hope that they have gained something from me because I don't present myself as a thug and all this other negative stereotypes Isn't that are associated. Mm -hmm. No. It's not black. Thug is not. I mean. Thug you, is not you, black. Right. Black. I, I, I get, oh, I'm going to get to history about that. Right. Just, right. Just, you have black culture and then you have black culture. What is black you have, culture? You have the black, black culture. The original black culture is our contributions that we have given to history. I'm talking about black culture to the black man here in America now. What is, yeah, what what is, is the black, black culture, culture now? Yes. What is the black culture here? Mm, I don't want to be the one to define. The only thing that we have is black culture. I don't want to be the one to define the culture for everybody. Whoa. You know what that's, I mean? I mean, I that's the closest thing. I mean, that's everybody. the closest thing we could think of. You know, hip hop. What I'm saying is, hold on. Let me. I gotta talk to the poor child. <laughs> poor child. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, hip hop is dead, honey. No, it's not. It wasn't hip hop. Right. You talking about? No, I said it was dead. Hold on. No, okay. Uh, now I don't know okay, what he's okay, talking about. Okay, what he's talking about? Now I don't okay, know what he's talking about. Uh, now I'm, I'm the mainstream hip hop. Look, look, look. I'm gonna take that example that y'all just used. Okay. Hip hop. Hip hop was started as black culture. Okay. Now today, what started as hip hop, a lot of people call rap because the rap is what has been taken in. Uh, Infected right. by white power and the, the executives okay. that run the, the music game mm -hmm. now, and so a lot of you know hip hop and rap is two different things now because but, I, but this, I can make hip hop is actually that, a culture oh, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. and I'm saying there's five on. elements of hip hop point. hold on it's this is a the fad. point whatever y'all oh, say I'm gonna make I'm gonna so, make I'm gonna make Yang's point exactly where is the black culture we can't even go ahead from the start from the start of hip hop. Jews have always regulated and distributed hip hop from day one. Exactly. Before but see, they well, you when we first nineteen seventy nine, Jews had their was it Sugar Hill Gang? Was it Sugar Hill? Yeah, Gang? Sugar was Hill Jews Gang. not distributing that record? Uh, yeah. But guess what? Cool. Guess, who, guess, who, guess who owned the record label? Who was a black woman? Right. That's what, what I'm like. I'm yeah. a distributor. He's oh, talking so about the ones who run the distribution. I mean, yeah, with you talking about But my thing is about. Culture, any anything of value what is black that culture? we that we create, I'm gonna explain that. It's gonna be it's, it's gonna be uh, taken from us. Okay, or, or attempted okay. attempt to be somebody corrupted. Somebody explain. Okay, me. let me explain, explain that to me. you. What time we got? Yeah, somebody yeah. because okay. see, in, in our last few minutes, because we talk about we'll argue a point. Black I'm people get. Fine. If I ask the Asians. What is an Asian culture? An Asian will tell me what an Asian culture. He's not going to say what Vince just said. Okay. Well, I don't want to speak for all the Asians. I can only speak for me. That's not culture. Hold on. Oh, no, if you can't, if you got a, because if you got, but if you got a culture, then a culture speaks for itself. When you say a culture, a culture will speak for itself. I don't have to ask permission yeah. to speak. Wait. So here's my point. Here, and Wait, I'm going to shut my mouth. Just let, let, let me say my mouth. Let me say my mouth. Let me say my mouth. Black cultures got dang fried chicken and water. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So I'm gonna make my last point. That's what that's <laughs> the point I'm that's that's the point I'm making about 
<laughs> us having about us going into multiculturalism. What is a black culture? I'm gonna tell you what happened. The so-called black culture you had, my last point, the so-called black culture you had, when you sold out your so-called black culture, you know what they call it now? Urban culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tim. Okay, then. Okay, then. Uh, let, me, let me explain the originality of the hip hop culture, okay? There's five elements, right? You got uh, break dancing, you got graffiti, you got DJing, you got MC, and you got knowledge. Okay, that's that, hip hop culture. No, okay, but that's but the reason let me tell you the reason why hip hop was created was to a way for us to redefine ourselves as a people. It was just right. like another hard wait wait wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay, it's just like another it's just like another Harlem Renaissance, okay? Like when uh blacks came from the south and they migrated up to Harlem and bringing all the poetry, the um the poetry, the uh the the music and uh the playwrights and things like that. The artistry. Okay. Yeah, the artistry. Yeah, but you see hip hop was a way for us to redefine ourselves. Blacks, those, you those, mean KRS One would disagree with you though. That's, that's right. why they call it hip hop culture now. Right, he right. Even but, say but, it's but, an but, aspect of black culture not, anymore. It's an integration. But when it first started, when it first started, when it first, when it when it first started. It was, you know, it started in the urban community mostly by black people yeah, and cool DJ Cool Herrick. Cool Herrick. 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 Um, yeah. yeah, Cool Herrick. Herrick. He was right. one of the first people that brought the influence. You know, being that he had a Jamaican background. Yeah, right. You know, he brought the idea of like different DJing type dancing and all that. Sounds, I mean, so yeah. different sounds. So yeah, most of the uh, the hip hop culture came from the Africa the African concept, like the break dancing, that came from a form of a martial art. But Tim, you, you know what I'm saying? Copy but, but, Tim, yeah, yeah, exactly. You gotta bring it to a point. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bring it to a point, but you keep interrupting me. Stop, 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 stop trying to interrupt me and listen. Just listen. Let, let, you always want to dominate. Just be quiet for a second. Okay, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to explain it to you. Maybe if you just listen, be quiet. Go ahead. Be quiet. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, you finna make me come out my element, but anyhow, <laughs> okay. But what I'm saying is, yeah, we brought all the elements to, to just pretty much redefine who we are, you know. So we wanted to come up with a concept, a way of, you know, bringing about influence on ourselves, you know, just by the way we talk, by the way we dress, by the way we act, things like that. That just that's how uh, hip hop. That was a, uh, the whole original purpose of having a hip hop culture, so that way we won't have to. Um, be a part of other people culture, taking other people culture, and you know just disagree. just live on. Okay, I mean you can no, disagree. just make your point. I mean uh, you can disagree, but I'm just saying that's the main mm -hmm. purpose of the hip hop culture, just so we what? can just have something that we can call our own. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing I find problematic with that, Tiffany, is that everybody who were uh, melanated, as Gideon would say, did not agree to hip hop being our culture. And, and right, so and, and here I mean, it is. is. KRS One said. This is why it became hip hop culture. At first, like Gideon said, it was an aspect of, 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 of black culture. culture. Right. right. But when Which was he, when he became right. a multiculturalist, KRS One, when you became a multiculturalist, you took it from being a black culture or an aspect of black culture and made it its own culture. So they can be inclusive of all people. Now it's hip hop culture. You know that's from our struggle. Mm -hmm. You know that's from our rhyme. You know that's what I was saying. That's right. what I was trying to get it's to you when you interrupted me. No, you kept saying hip hop culture. That's the I, point I, I was making. Trying, when you call it hip hop culture, right. that's, that's what the, that was the whole originality of what you just said right there. That yeah. was the whole originality of it. I want to ask this question real quick, and this goes to Brother Vince and Brother Yanga. Can now Gideon alluded to this earlier, and me and Yanga, we've had this discussion before. Can I'm not asking you, Gideon. I'm asking these people. Can culture be part of a governmental system? You first, Vince. Can culture be, if it's our own governmental system? Really? Okay. That's I mean, because they're the white, <laughs> the white. No, no. Let's leave white people out of it. Let's just talk about black people. Well, you can't okay. leave them out. Right. I'm like they're, they're, they're influences. In yeah. Go ahead. No, but but let culture. him make his point, okay, though. All right, all right. Let, don't try to tell him but, what his point is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead. All right. Go ahead, Vince. I'm sorry. Explain to me this cultural government. What I'm saying is, if we if we like uh, desegregate, like a lot of people want to do. Okay. And we get our own. I don't see how we're going to desegregate being here in America. No, let's, let's just, let's, 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 right. let me just start there right now. Okay. Okay. It's hard. But if we desegregate it, of uh -huh. course we have our own culture. Of really? course we could 
uh, institute a government Let me ask one more question. A, that's what, influenced by our own culture. What would that culture be based on? And I'm going to go to Yang. What would it be based on? Like, just give me one thing. Uh, our African history. Really? For one. The, his, the, the, the contributions that African Americans have made to okay. America, which have been plenty, but the, despite what the, the textbooks in the government tells you, we've made plenty yes. of contributions you to this society. You're proving your point. You're proving your point. Okay. No, you're proving your point. You, that was good. I, I, you, I thought you was going to be biased. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Can we unite this government based on the culture? I don't think so. I don't. I, I think that, that in, in, in any black government, the government it should be secular, and that the government should be run by the rights of the people and what's advantageous for all of the people, and that in this government there will be an, an exchange of ideals and an exchange of culture. You'll have the if we put being African here in America, whatever we call ourselves first, then we'll learn to live in coexistence with our Hebrew brothers, our Muslim, and we'll have that exchange of ideas. I think that when you put culture, this is one of the problems that we're having now by unifying. The Moors ain't black. Right. The blacks ain't Moors. The Muslims ain't Hebrews. The Hebrews ain't Muslims. You know, and so different and branches. none of them homosexuals. Exactly. <laughs> so when you put us as a people, when you put what's plaguing us as a people, just like I said, you got these other cultures that come together. You know, every Hispanic is not Catholic. Every right. white person right. is not a Christian. Every, right. But they put the, the needs of their ethnicity over before their culture. And then what they're able to do is to have that intermingling and interchange of ideas and culture. I got another question. Okay, okay. So you just said, Vince, that we can unite based on a black culture, right? So let me ask you this question. Now, now keep in mind these are black people, right? Is homosexuality a culture? Homosexuality is a part of any culture. Can okay. be. Now we talking about we're talking about black. Well, I'm people. talking about currently. We're it's a part of any culture. It's part of every culture. I'm it's a personal choice. So we don't have homosexuals yeah, in true. black culture. It's 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 that's homosexual. I'm gonna disagree. Part have, of people's culture. You may have homosexuals, but it may not be accepted in every culture. Right. Right. That's yeah. Different. Yeah. But, now, so me, just because they're homosexual, don't mean they're not part of that culture. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Not, the concept of homosexuality may not be accepted in that in, in culture. That culture. Right. It's not accepted in a lot of cultures. That don't mean homosexuals right. going anywhere. So, okay, so follow me. Right. That's, that's follow not the me. question. No, no, that's not the question. Follow me, follow me. You just said that black people can unite under a culture. Now, you just said homosexuality is a part of a culture. Now, remember, we're talking about black people here. Black people, you know, black people that want to throw homosexuals off of the building mm -hmm. well, that's based on their culture that's because they're being based on their culture they're being uh, we're talking about black they, people they're being now. dictated by a doctrine as you like their culture <laughs> but let me let me the interject culture. here that's that's not, that doctrine is not part of my culture well let me the question that you asked about government and the culture being involved it says in this culture which is an atheist Culture, but it said right, right, allegedly, right, right. It's culture. It's American said, culture? Oh, it's, absolutely. It's, it's separation of church and state. You ever heard of it? Thank you. The English war. But it's called it. It's called Come on, man. It's don't, called uh, Don't pee on me and call it rain water. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's hypocrisy. We understand this. It's hypocrisy. But it says to the government for which it stands, one nation under God. Thank you. Indivisible with liberty and it, justice it's like a for all. So we, we know that was a lie. But to answer okay, your question about the government okay. and and culture, look at Liberia. Liberia, oh, the yes. people actually migrated from America, from America. back to Africa. Yeah, right. But what they did was took the American culture with them That's and right. began to subjugate the yeah. indigenous people and now they uh, it's, it's a ball of confusion yeah. and it turned into a mass war and and of course now they have a woman as the leader in liberia so what we're talking about that the culture that we come from africa it would allow women to be leaders would allow women to uh be uh queens and part of the governmental hierarchy so that is part of the culture so culture can have a very important influence on government but that government has to be of the people 
by the people and for the people. But it is the dominant people that tend to define what the culture that will ultimately, and in America, oh, the culture you. is capitalism. Mm. Okay, I, I, I have something to say. Go ahead, Tim. Let me interject that. that. Okay, uh, now the whole thing about church and government. Church and state. Separation of church and state. Separation of church and state, they kind of intertwine in a way. Of course they, they do. They, they kind of intertwine because the dominant of uh, Christian um, with, philosophy. Yeah, the dominant Christian philosophy is actually mostly Roman Catholic. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's mostly okay. it's mostly Catholic. And if you know, it's like let's say on a Sunday. Today is Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. Most businesses are closed. Why? Because in most the, the, the religious not, not just philosophy, in the right? In, not in California. Well, okay, man. Well, go ahead and make okay, a point okay, with okay, our okay, time. Okay, 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 okay. I let y'all talk so y'all don't don't, don't don't dominate me now. Go okay, <laughs> but not nah, because okay. The reason why most most business closed on a Sunday is because of the Christian ideology. Okay. And then you got most uh, places that's closed on holidays like Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, Easter and all that. Why? Because of the Christian concept. That's so right. in a way, they're not really separated. They're together in a sense. This is my last comment. point I want to make okay. on multiculturalism from my viewpoint. All I'm saying about multiculturalism is that from my history that I've learned about black culture and the things that we've contributed to this society before and after we came here, one minute. I can intermingle with other ethnic groups and share with them what I've learned and I mm -hmm. can learn from them as well and hopefully uplift everybody together. And that doesn't seconds. mean that I disavow my black people. Okay, yeah. this is black son of my father. All right, uh, black man named Vincent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Multiculturalism, you know, is it a... Uh, Poison or yes. Oh, 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 great. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You know, um, Tiffany made a very good point about uh, businesses being closed, and see, that's why we got Walmart and Kroger mm. by the juice. They open twenty four seven. So, <laughs> with that being said, you got to remember that we had multiculturalism, cultural wars in Africa, mm -hmm. and I think when they brought us in here, they brought us in the middle of a war. So we're going through cultural wars now. Absolutely. And so in so order to accept, in DNA. so in order to accept multicultural from all people, first we got to accept multicultural from ourselves. Thanks. Within right. ourselves. I don't accept ourselves. all black people. Don't, 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 don't accept that. It's don't them not, just, not accepting just, us. That's what not it is. is. <laughs> They're not accepting us. With that being said, look, look, and, 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 and let me make another point. Let me make another point. Okay. This is to all the black people in the world. Especially you, Gideon. Yes, sir. When we recognize culture, we have to recognize culture in 2015 as homosexuality is a culture. Yeah. They have their own dance. They have, they have they their own, own music. They, they have, have their, their own, own dance. dance. No, yeah. man. It's oh, not. It's, it's a preference. If y'all deny they have their own dance, it's called the death drop. All right. We're out. We're out. We're out. All right. Peace. 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 Peace